So welcome back everyone, Mike here. This afternoon, I am gonna load up a load of firewood in the little dump trailer here behind me. Uh, it's a mix of uh, cherry and a little bit of red oak. I really like cherry, I do. One reason is it dries a lot faster than like red oak and white oak. Doesn't burn quite as hot, but it's a pretty nice firewood and it's pretty abundant here in our area. Uh, and besides loading up the load of firewood, I'm also going to answer some of the most asked questions over the last month or so. And one of them that keeps coming up are, what are these? And I've answered it many times before, but I know there's new people to the channel, you know, that join us every day. And they may, you know, not have seen some of the older videos. But these are just 3M headphones. These are just AM, FM, hearing protection. You can listen to the radio. Uh, they're not very expensive. You know, they can, you can get these in like Bluetooth and all sorts of things, but uh, I just wear these, and I'm telling you, I have been rough on these. I drop them all the time, and they just keep working. Battery life, they take two AA batteries, they last a very long time. But to answer that question, these are 3M. If anyone needs a pair of these when you're running your tractor, chainsaw, leaf blower, string trimmer, anything like that, they're pretty nice. But anyway, I'm gonna get started loading this firewood up. I think I can get a little over a third of a cord in this dump trailer, and then we'll answer a couple of the other questions that keep getting asked. Something else that keeps getting a lot of questions is about this little dump trailer, like where you can get one, how much they cost, things like that. I just did a video the other day that went over that uh, dump trailer from top to bottom, front to back. I'll put it up above, but as far as cost goes, I looked it up and uh, the cheapest place I have found it is Rural King. And if you've been watching our channel, you know that I partnered with Rural King, but they are definitely the cheapest on that dump trailer. I think it's $2,400. I've seen them other places upwards of $3,000, so if you don't have a Rural King near you, you'll probably pay more than $2,400. But I really like that trailer, it's super handy. Uh, you can see when I was loading that firewood, it's just big enough that you can haul a pretty good jag of firewood in it or a load of stone, uh, but yet you can reach across it, almost the whole way across it, and it's small enough to get you know out through all the trees without any problems. And I mentioned this in that video the other day. We have a lot of steep hills around here, and I would not want a bigger trailer behind a tractor like this going down some of these steep hills. You'd end up in some trouble. Uh, so I think that covers the dump trailer. What's next? Oh, I know. The Mingo Marker. If you've been following our channel a while, you know I've used this for a long time. I actually did a video last year. Put that right up here. It's my most viewed video for some reason. 
but it's called how to cut your firewood the same length and it kind of goes over the mingo marker pretty handy tool but i'm not kidding in the last two weeks alone we probably got 20 questions about the mingo marker whether it be on our facebook page uh, you know Facebook messenger emails or in the comments on our YouTube videos So if you want out your firewood the same length get yourself a mingo marker Lastly, when am I going to get a sawmill and which one am I going to get? I'm not sure when probably end of January 1st of February something like that We'll see how this winter goes and I don't know exactly which one I'm going to get yet uh, A lot of people have mentioned like the Lucas mill. I think they're really cool for cutting uh, dimensional lumber and things like that but that's not really what I'm after, and it's a little more money than what I want to spend. Uh, I want to do some, you know, like slab cutting. I think a band mill will be fine. I mean, I'm going to do three or 4,000 feet a year at the most. Somebody else saw, actually said, why don't I just get somebody to come saw here? And that's not a bad idea, but that's just not really what I want to do. You know what I mean? I, I just want to be able to saw some logs when I have some logs ready, and I want it to be there when I need it. There may be times when I don't use it for two months, I may use it for a week straight, who knows? And a manual mill will be just fine for me. I've got the tractors with the grapples, and I know you got to turn the logs on the band mill, but that's no big deal. Uh, but I have been looking at all different brands. I mean, Timber King, Timboree, Wood Miser, Woodland Mills. A lot of guys uh, swear by those little woodland mills. I think they're made up in Canada. Uh, Norwood. Um, I do think, I do like the four post design on several of them. I think it's just a little bit more heavy duty, I guess. I don't know, but I like that design. So it is definitely going to be a band mill. Not sure which one yet. And I will probably have it sometime, I'm going to say before the end of February, I'll have a mill here. Okay, so we answered four questions that I've seen asked kind of quite a bit over the last month or so. 3M headphones, Mingo marker, dump trailer, and when I'm gonna get a sawmill and what kind. I think that's about it. But I got my firewood loaded up here. And one more thing I will mention before I wrap this up. I wanna thank everybody that has sent us messages on our Facebook page or in the comments or in our email uh, wishing us a Merry Christmas. We had a really nice time and I hope you did as well. And uh, we're really looking forward to 2019. Got a lot of things uh, planned around here. Should be a pretty good year. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.